kept. So they were eating what? They were eating pork. Yep. They were eating all kind of unclean uh, abominations. They were praying to a false god. Go ahead. And when the feast of Bacchus was kept, the Jews were compelled to go in procession to Bacchus carrying ivy. Okay, now let's go back. Where do we leave off at? Peter. Go ahead. First uh, Peter 4 and 3. For the time past of our life may suffice us to have wrought the will of the Gentiles when we walked in lasciviousness, lust, excess of wine, revelings, banquetings, and abominable idolatries. Or and they think it strange that you run not with them to the same excess of riot, speaking evil of you, who shall give account to him that is ready to judge the quick and the dead. For this cause was the gospel preached also to them that are dead, that they might be judged according to men in the flesh, but live according to the Most High in the Spirit. Now let's go from there to uh, Acts, the 20th chapter, the 19th verse to the 31st verse. Like, let me say this here. I also heard a, a situation in Atlanta, the, the Atlanta camp, that uh, certain brothers have been telling me that they haven't really been going out. They haven't, they haven't been really putting up uh, videos on YouTube. And I believe one brother had went down to Florida to get with Karataza. And, um, and he basically exp told, because Karataza told us that the brother said he was down with the Atlantic camp, but they really don't go out. If, it, if, it's, if it's drizzling, they don't go out. If it's too hot, they don't go out. If it's too this, it don't, they don't go out. You know? Now, this brother said he wanted to go out, so he actually went down and got with uh, Karataza so he can keep, continue to go out. Now, you guys that are un, that's under the so-called camp leader, he really ain't no camp leader. What you should do is just go out on your own and do your own thing. All right? Uh, Acts chapter 20 verse 19 Serving the Lord with all humility of mind And with many tears It says And temptations which befell me by the, by the line and weight of the Jews And how I kept back nothing that was profitable unto you But have showed you and have taught you publicly And from house to house Testifying both to the Jews And also to the Greeks Repent oh, Let's start right there See a simple minded clown the word Greek come to them and they think about a cracker. You know, they think about Thor. You know, they picture a guy from the, from the movie Thor. You know, the word Greek. Ah, look up that Look up that word. Give me the exact. Uh, Acts, 9, uh, 20 and 21. Acts 20, verse 21. Yeah. It says, testifying both to the Jews and also to the Greeks, repentance toward the Most High and faith toward our Lord, Yahweh Shai. All right, we got it. The word for Greek should either be Hellenistas or Hellenin. There's a difference between the term Hellenistas and Hellenin. Yeah, the, the Greek word there is Helen, which means um, a Greek, either by nationality whether a native of the mainland or of the Greek islands or colonies. In a wider sense, the name embraces all nations, not Jews, that made the language, customs, and learning of the Greeks their own. The primary reference is to a difference of religion and worship. And uh, pretty much it says the same. The second, the second definition. Uh, definition number two says, in a wider sense, the name embraces all nations, not Jews, that made the language, customs, and learning of the Greeks their own. The primary reference is to a difference of religion and worship. Yeah, that's talking about these Israelites that during the time of um, Antiochus Epiphanes, when they gave them a license to sin and to not circumcise their children and to eat pork and to go to the gym to the place of exercise. That's what that's talking about. Read that again about the Greeks. It says, um, testifying both to the Jews and also to the Greeks. So Paul is talk testifying to the Jews, which are Israelites that were born in Jerusalem or in the land of Israel and know that they're Israelites, but they don't know about the Messiah. So he's testifying to them of the Messiah. Go ahead. Repentance. Toward the most high. Read it again. 
It says testifying both to the Jews and also to the Greeks. The Greeks were were um like I said, and as we've been saying, Gentiles, um, Israelites in the Gentile state of mind. Israelites that don't know that they're Israelites. They look just like Jews. They had woolly hair, dark skin. But they might have dressed in the Greek uh, Greek garments. They might have spoke Greek. Or they might have spoke Latin. All right? Go ahead. It says, testifying both to the Jews and also to the Greeks, repentance toward the Most High. And yeah, because what, who, who are the only ones that can receive repentance? The nation of Israel. So it's obvious it's not talking about Edomites. Go ahead. And faith toward our Lord, Yahweh Shai. And now, behold, I go bound in the Spirit unto Jerusalem, not knowing the things that shall befall me there. Save that the Holy Spirit witnesses in every city, saying that bonds and afflictions abide me. But none of these things move me, neither count I my life dear unto myself, so that I might finish my course with joy and the ministry. Yeah, we have a course. Uh, look up the word course. Verse 24. Read that again. But none of these things, excuse me, but none of these things move me, neither count I my, my, my life dear unto myself, so that I might finish my course with joy and the ministry which I have received of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, to testify the gospel of grace of the Most High. Yeah, the word I'm looking for is course. Yeah, the Greek word there is uh, dromos, which means a course. In the New Testament, figuratively, the course of life or of office. Um, yeah, a course. Yeah, so in other words, what we're doing is we're teaching this word on the highways and the byways till the very end, which might be at 6 o'clock tonight, uh, uh, May the 21st, according to that, that creep Harold Campling. All right? I remember that dude back when I was a kid. <laughs> And he used to always talk, he used to always, he used to always um, have people call him and, and, and they would say, can, can everybody be saved? He said, no, everybody can't be saved. When you go to the story of Jacob and Esau, Esau wasn't, and he don't even realize that he's talking about himself. But he used to always bring up Jacob and Esau. Go ahead. It says, but none of these things move me, neither count on my life on my my life dear unto myself so that I might finish my course with joy and so what does it mean to finish your course endure to the end like it says in Matthew the 24th chapter which a lot of guys haven't finished their course so they don't get a reward they get a they get a blot you know go ahead and the ministry which I have received of the Lord Yahweh Shai to testify the gospel of the grace of the most when we make all these videos and we push all these videos and we got all these camps going out there this is a ministry man go ahead it says and now behold I know and I know that you all among whom I have gone preaching the kingdom of the most high shall see my face no more wherefore I take you to record this day <laughs> that I am pure from the blood of all men for I have not that he is pure he, he said put this in account and in record that I am pure from the blood of all men what should come to your mind? Ezekiel, the second chapter, Ezekiel, the third chapter, Ezekiel, the uh, 18th chapter, Ezekiel, the 33rd chapter. That he went out there to teach them whether they hear or forbear. And once he taught them, if they accepted it, that's that's a good thing. If they didn't accept it, that's all right. Because, the, because that blood was off his hand. Go ahead. For I have not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel of the Most High. And that's what we do. We declare unto you all the counsel of the Most High. All these breakdowns that, that we give you. Go ahead. It says, also of your own selves shall men arise speaking perverse things. Yeah, and we, we don't went. Go ahead. Jump, I'm sorry. It says, take heed therefore unto yourselves and all the flock over the which the Holy Spirit had made you overseers. To feed the church of the yeah, we're overseers over you, man. So how do we how do we feed you? We put them videos up. 
Because there's no way in hell we can spread ourselves and go visit all you brothers. That's why in this time set time frame that we're in right now, we have this internet, man. So that's this internet can reach more people than it can ever reach back there um two thousand about two thousand years ago. We can put up one video and millions of hundreds of millions of people can watch it. Go ahead. It says to feed the church of the most high. 